Hey, what's guys, come back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to set up battery communications between this EG4 3000 watt inverter and these AO lithium batteries, okay? So in case you didn't know, a lot of people got these AO lithium batteries. They were on sale, I think at one point, um, you could get one server rack battery. That's a 48 uh, uh, volt, uh, 100 amp hour, so five kilowatt hour uh, server rack of battery shipped to your house or wherever you are for like less than $999. So there's a ton of people got them. I am some of those people who did uh, jump in on those deals. So if you have these batteries and you're trying to figure out how to set up battery communications with this EG4 3000 watt inverter, stick with us. All right, you guys, so at this point, I'm gonna pretty much assume that you have your inverter set up properly. Um, you're gonna have to ignore all this other crazy stuff going in up uh, on here that we're not gonna talk to or point about, uh, mainly because this is a different system and I usually do not have this inverter here, okay? I only move this inverter here to demonstrate or pretty much shoot this video about how to set up communications between this and some of these batteries here, all right? So the one that we're gonna be using is this pack right here. Uh, as you can see, I have about six of them here right now, but this is the pack that's connected to that inverter using these two cables going up through here and through here. Yes, I know the cable is, you know, looks crazy, could use some wire management, could probably do things more better and all that stuff with Copa. Like I said, this is just a temporary setup I only put here for the purpose of this video, okay? So, uh, one of the first things you wanna do is look at the screen here and you can see my battery communications is working and right now this battery is being charged. I'm trying to charge it up back up to, uh, you know, the same voltage before we're connecting it. But as you can see here, it does work, okay? So one of the first things you wanna do um, as you go in here is you want to go and then hold this enter button and you wanna go uh, into setting mode and you wanna go up to about, I think it was setting number five, I believe. So setting number five is a lithium ion battery pack that you're gonna be using and you wanna set this setting to LI2. So once you get into there, you wanna hit this enter button, which will take you in there, right? And then you can change it to LI2. I don't need to do that because I already did that. So I'm gonna come back out you can see my battery communications is still working, okay? So the way you set this up is you wanna use this uh, yellow uh, USB to ethernet converter that comes when you buy this inverter. So this cable comes with this inverter. It's gonna look a little weird because it has a USB on one side and then it has an ethernet looking plug RJ45 on this other side, okay? So you wanna connect it from that port to the first port here, which is CAN slash 485. You wanna put it on here and as you do that, you want to make sure you set up the dip switches to be all down and in number six to be up, okay? Um, and then that's what pretty much uh, sets this battery to be able to communicate on this CAN 485 port with the uh, EG4 3K uh, inverter using Pylon Tech Protocol or whatever it is, right? So um, if you do make this change or change any dip switches on this, I will go ahead and tell you, you do need to power cycle the battery in order for this thing to take effect. Um, at one point, as you make the change and power cycle it, the alarm button may go off for like a second, right? But as it comes back on and boots up, you'll see that uh, it does connect pretty well, right? So CAN 485 uh, only dip switch number six up, take this cable that comes with here, right? And then connect it to this port here, RS-485 USB port. And then technically you should be able, or good to go, right? So mine comes up right here right now. And as you can see here, right now, this thing says my battery's at 81%. And if you look here, assuming you could even see it, you can see it's at 81%, okay? So I'm just gonna assume now at this point, you have more than one battery you wanna connect to it, right? So in that case, you wanna use some of these parallel cables that come with the kit. If you didn't buy the kit, I'm pretty sure that this is just a standard uh, pinout, uh, standard ethernet cable. So you wanna take this cable, plug one into this port here, right? And then you can plug this second port up to here. But before you do that, what you want to do is you want to set the second pack, which is going to be the slave pack with uh, 
uh, the dip switch number one to be up and I pretty much set all the other ones to be down. So these two are pretty much connected, uh, communicating together. I don't recommend you do it the way I'm doing it right now because these two packs aren't connected electrically, right? It's only the communications here. Uh, but this is only, like I said, only for the demonstration of this video. So this one here is at 99% and this one here is at 81%. So if I go back up here and I see if the thing changed somewhere between, what was it, 81% um, at first, right? Or something like that. So 81% to like 99% on this battery, you know, somehow it does the math and averages it out or whatever. And then it says, now my battery bank that's connected is at 90%. In a way, it kind of makes sense, right? 89 and then 90. So if you take 99 right take nine out of that put it in here let's just say that's 90 that makes that 90 so it does make sense that this is 90. so that's how you set up battery communications between these ao lithium server rack lipo 4 batteries and this et4 3 uh, k battery okay so in case you were wondering how to do that you can do that it is totally possible uh, to operate this inverter with these batteries without setting any of any of that stuff up to communications and i've been using this inverter with other batteries without setting up communication just by using user settings and you can just put in all the uh, parameters that you need right so a lot of people will do that um, and in some situations i'd actually recommend people do that but in this situation um, I just wanted to figure out how to set up communications between uh, for, uh, between the two systems, mainly because I, for some reason, I think people really like having a communication set up. There is a lot of benefit to having it set up, so I'm not saying don't do that. But if you wanted to know how to do it, that's how you would do it, okay? So the important thing to take away here is you got to use the cable that comes with the inverter. And then uh, dip switch number six is the one that has to be up right and then uh, if you want to put a bunch of uh, batteries in that same bank right you want to use the uh, rs 485 b port and connect the other batteries using pretty much standard ethernet cables okay but the slave packs you want to look at the uh, ao lithium manual that comes with it and you want to set the dip switches the right way it's pretty much almost like a binary type setting um, so to set the first one up right and then second one downwards up and you can just connect them all so i did do that just to make sure it does work so i connected about three of them in parallel to make sure that it does work and it does work so i hope this video helped you out you know in case you're trying to set up and use this inverter uh pretty soon after this video or maybe one or two more videos i'll probably go ahead and take this down and put it back where it's supposed to be but um if you want to know how to set up communications that's how you do it